everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the new Jeffree Star Times Many MUA collab. Many teamed up with Jeffree Star Cosmetics and they came out with this bundle. If you would like to see a review, comparisons, and also possible dupes, just keep on watching. And also if you're not yet subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe and let's just jump right in. So Manny MUA teamed up with Jeffree Star Cosmetics to come out with a bundle which was two liquid lipsticks and also a skin frost highlighter. And this is what the box looks like. If you pick up the bundle, um, you do get this um, little box that it comes in, but you are able to pick up all the items individually. I also want to mention that you do save um, quite a bit actually if you pick up the bundle. This bundle retails for $50 and again you do get the two liquid lipsticks and the highlighter and they're all full size. If you want to pick up a single item, um, it's just regular price. You pay $18 each for the liquid lipsticks and also the Skin Frost is $29 I believe. So if you picked up the items individually and you weren't able to get the bundle, it is $65. But if you were able to get your hands on the bundle, this did retail for $50. So you are saving $15 if you just buy the bundle. Um, the bundle did um, sell out in 30 minutes. Like I saw 10 a.m. and I was on his website trying to order it and it did put you like in a queue line just so his website wouldn't crash and you can check out smoothly which I really appreciate. So this is what the bundle looks like again. It has um, many MUA's little crescent moon that he always has and then also Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo. And I really love the packaging. I love the flat black and then the holographic logo that they created and put their both both of their signs and put it together. I really love that. It comes with this sleeve. And then this is what the box looks like. It's like so gorgeous. Like I can't believe you get $15 off if you purchase the bundle and then you get this like beautiful box. It's so pretty. Here's Manny MUA's um, little logo again and then Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo. And then you just kind of, it has a little flap. And I didn't see this part actually, but again, here's their logos again. And then you open it up. And then the inside has the two um, liquid lipsticks with the skin frost. So the two liquid lipsticks, one of them is called Daddy and then the other one is called I'm Shook. And then the skin frost is called Eclipse. Isn't the packaging like gorgeous? When I saw the reveal, I was like, wow, this is gorgeous. And when they revealed the shades and everything, I knew I wanted to pick up this bundle. Just because there's a lot of collabs. I love a lot of YouTubers that come out with collabs. But usually I'm not in love with everything that is in the collection. So I was really excited when I saw the packaging was gorgeous. The shades that he created were gorgeous. The skin frost was pretty like he was saying that he was doing creating something that was out of his comfort zone so i was a little like oh hopefully he doesn't come out with like crazy colors because you know jeffree star cosmetics likes like creating out of the box shades which i love and i love that i'm able to just go to his site and pick a shade that you wouldn't really find but i was happy that manny just created shades that are wearable but still out of his comfort zone, which I, I just love the shades that he created. So I'm just going to take out the liquid lipstick. And here is the packaging on the liquid lipstick. Again, I love how it has like the little like 3D on the packaging. And then again, their logo right here. And then it says the lower liquid lipstick. And again, on top, it says the shade of the color that you picked up. And I love how it has this little logo back here. I just thought it was cute how they just incorporated his logo in the back of the packaging as well. I just thought it was really cute. And then I also noticed that they have the pink on the inside, like the pink inner packaging. I thought that was so gorgeous. You can definitely tell that they did put a lot of time and effort in the packaging and then the shades and everything like that. So here is the Skin Frost. It kind of looks like 3D-ish as well. And again, their logo Skin Frost. And again on top, Eclipse. And again, I love how they put his little logo on the back as well. I love also that they have the pink inner um, packaging as well. So let me show you both of these shades. So this first shade right here is called I'm Shook. And this is a burnt coral shade. This shade is gorgeous. He revealed both of his shades. This one was the one that I like gravitated towards. I just thought it was really, really pretty. And it really is. The next shade that he came out with was called Daddy. And this is what that shade looks like. And this shade is like the top seller of the three items in his collab. Like this is sold out. But you can't pick it up on the Jeffree Star website. But 
I don't know if it's available on other websites. If they are, I'll link it down below. I also want to mention that I love the packaging. I, I love that they have like the black packaging. It's super, super pretty compared to their like normal packaging, which is the pink. Um, I just think it's really pretty and I, I just love the black packaging. I just think it looks way better. And I just love that he um, changed the packaging for this collab. And I can't wait to see what other collabs he comes out with and who he collabs with as well. I would love to see a collab with Laura Lee, actually. I love Laura, so we'll see if that happens. And then also on the Skin Frost, it is a black matte packaging as well with the holographic um, logo on here as well. It does have the black in the back as well, and I love how they kept the pink um, writing on this. It's really nice. Just comparing the two with the two, this is um, Jeffree Star's normal packaging, which is the pink, but I just love the black packaging, the flat black. It just looks gorgeous. I just think this is so beautiful. So I'm going to be inserting some swatches like on my hand, and I'm also going to be doing some lip swatches. And I'm going to be comparing these um, shades with shades that Jeffree Star Cosmetics has in their line or that they previously have had in their line, just to show you guys the difference between the shades and stuff like that. So the first lip swatch I'm gonna be doing is I'm Shook, and this one is described as a medium tone burnt coral. This is what I'm Shook looks like. I really like this color. When he revealed both of his lip shades, I was really excited for this one. I love wearing shades other than just neutral everyday shades. And I really love this shade. I think this one is my favorite of the two. When I was applying it, it didn't feel as like liquidy and like easy to apply. Like usually, I don't know if it's because my lips might be a little dry or something, but I didn't feel like when I was applying it, it didn't feel like super smooth like all his other ones usually feel like did feel a little different, like a little more drying, but still the shade is very, very pretty. The next shade in this collection is called Daddy, and this is a cool toned brown shade. So this is what Daddy looks like. Um, I do like the color, but from both of these shades, again, my favorite is I'm Shook. I just love that color. I didn't have anything really like that in my collection. So I really like I'm Shook, but this one's really, really pretty. So here are some swatches of the shades that I have that is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So this first shade right here is called Daddy. This next one right here is called Androgyny. This one right here is Celebrity Skin. This one is Leo. And then this one is Deceased. Um, I don't have any shades that are really close to, um, Daddy. I feel like Daddy looks a lot like his shade that he has, which is called Posh Spice. But I don't have that shade to compare it. But I do have a shade that when I was swatching this, it reminded me of. And I think it's a really close dupe. It is very affordable, also the dupe that I do have. I love Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I love their formula. It's really, really nice and also very comfortable and you don't really need to layer it a lot to get the opacity. So I really love Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipsticks, but Daddy is currently sold out on the Jeffree Star website and um, I think I found a dupe for it. So the dupe that I do have is this one right here and it's from LA Colors and it's called Suede and they recently just came out with these and this is, you can find these on Family Dollar or General Dollar and I also did see that they did um, launch these on their website as well. So again, this shade is called Suede. So this is Suede by LA Colors, and then this one is Daddy by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is still a little wet. I do find that the LA Colors does take a little longer than usual to dry down, but they are completely matte. The shades, as you can see, is pretty darn similar. When I was swatching this on my lips, I'm like, it reminds me of Suede by LA Colors. And then I went and looked, and yeah. In the packaging, um... Daddy looks lighter, but it does dry down on darker, as you can see. Um, and this is just, I think this one shows more true to color of what the shade actually looks like. And again, this is what these two shades are. They are pretty close um, if you're on a budget and can't afford buying Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks, even though the formula on Jeffree Star Cosmetics is really, like, one of my favorites. If you can't afford it, you can find this for 2 to $3 shade is pretty similar. 
So now I'm going to be comparing shades to I'm Shook. So here are some of the shades that I do have. It's I'm Shook by Many Star. Many Star. <laughs> so this shade right here is I'm Shook. This next one right here is Watermelon Soda, and this was a shade down last year in the summertime. And I totally forgot when I was swatching it that it smells like watermelon. It smells delicious. This next one right here is called Red Rum. And this one I did a mixed Red Rum and Watermelon Soda, and this is the shade I got. And it's really nice. I was like, maybe if I mix both of these, I will get this shade. But no, it's more pink, but still all very pink. Pretty. And for this shade, I have a shade in mind when I was swatching it. I just felt like it reminded me of the shade that I picked up. That shade is called Coral Corruption by um, Wet n Wild. And I was looking at the packaging. Their packaging looks like really similar. Isn't that like crazy? So for this one, these aren't dupes. Um, again, this is Wet n Wild Coral Corruption. And then this one up here is I'm Shook. And then I did want to swatch this other one by Wet n Wild, and which is called Give Me Mocha. But it's not really similar at all. They're not dupes. As you can see here, these two right here are these. Again, this one's the Wet n Wild Coral Corruption, and then I'm Shook. Even though they kind of look the same in the packaging and have similar packaging, they're not the same. They're not the same shades. Now I'm going to be swatching the highlighter. So this is what, again, what the packaging looks like. So when you open up the highlighter, this is what the inside looks like. It's just gorgeous. I love, again, how they just put both of their logos on here. It's just really, really pretty. I'll show you a comparison to the actual skin frost that he does have. So these are the regular skin frosts that are on his site. And this is the one on the collapse. So they did incorporate Jeffree Star's logo, but again, they added the moon, which was part of many. And I just love how they incorporated both of their logos in everything that's in the collab. I just think it's, it's just nice. Like, of course, stars and moons definitely go together. I just think it's gorgeous. So let's try this out. And I'm just going to be taking my Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. I always use this brush. It's like my go-to brush to highlight. I love the color and it reminds me of a shade that I will be comparing it to. Your cheeks just look wet. It's not glittery at all. And it just like gives you just your cheeks like a wet look. So here are some swatches of the Skin Frost. This first one is Eclipse. This next one right here is Ice Cold. Next up is Princess Cut, and Princess Cut is the one that I thought was really similar to Eclipse, but Princess Cut's more pinkish, whereas this one's more like the peachy, icy peach shape. And then lastly, this is Peach Goddess, and Peach Goddess is definitely darker from all of these other three shades right here. I hope the camera can pick up these shades because I can tell they're all different. Like, I really thought Princess Cut and um, Eclipse were really similar, but they're not. And the shade that I'm going to be comparing this is in the BH Cosmetics Spotlight Palette. So the shade I'm going to be comparing it with is this one right here, which is called Vivid. Let me put these both side by side. Shades look really similar, huh? When I swatched it, I'm like, this reminds me of that shade that's in the BH Cosmetics Palette. So let's see. So this one right here is Vivid in the BH Cosmetics Spotlight Palette, and then this one is Eclipse. Um, they are pretty similar, I feel like. Um, Vivid just feels like it leans a little more on the pinkish side, whereas Eclipse is more of the peach. But I feel like they are really similar. Like, it's like a hair difference. Um, again, if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, um, pick up the BH Cosmetics Spotlight Palette. I love that palette. It's really pigmented. Again, super affordable. But I do love, again, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I love all his products. They're, like, really good, and I love how he really pays attention to his stuff. He really tests everything out to make sure that he does have the best quality out there. But, again, um, these shades are pretty similar. Again, Vivid is more a little more on the pink side, whereas Eclipse is peach. It's, like, on the peach side. But... They're like a hair difference, so if you're looking for something more affordable, again, just grab the BH Cosmetics palette. So overall, I really love the bundle. I just love that they had the bundle for sale. It was just a great value for the three products that you do get. I really like this collection, and if you are able to get your hands on this, um, it is currently sold out, but they are, I think, bringing it back in May. Um, I'm not sure how many times they will be restocking the bundle, but if you're interested, I think you should pick it up. 
if you're unable to I hope my affordable dupes helps you out in making a decision to whether pick up the bundle or pick up the cheaper alternatives but overall I love this I love the box I'm definitely gonna keep the box I will be displaying it somewhere because I just think the packaging is gorgeous and I just even think this is gorgeous as well like I love everything I love the whole box I love the products that are in here so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also if you're not yet subscribed don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you all in my next video thank you for watching Bye.